you think I should have ironed my shirt? Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Virtually Loads of Gordy. Uh, guys, maybe a little over that way. So it's really cool to be back here and I want to say thanks again for all of your comments and your emails and your Facebook messages and your Twitter messages. Uh, I've been blown away by the support I've had uh, for these vlogs. Um, I've really enjoyed doing them and I'm, I'm glad that you're enjoying them too. This one is going to be quite short because I'm officially on holiday. For a whole week. Uh, a whole week of doing nothing uh, but relaxing, which will be amazing. But I just wanted to make a quick vlog before I went, just to uh, touch base with you guys, let you know what's going on. There is a bit of news, uh, and obviously I need to announce the winners for last week's competition and run another competition this week, because uh, I do have some cool things to give away. So before I get to the competitions, uh, there's a few bits and pieces of news that I'd like to announce. I have had a busy week of book deliveries. I've had no less than four books, or well, no more than four actually, because it was four books, delivered this week um, through the mail. Um, and I just want to share those with you. The first is the German edition of The Fury, which is so exciting. Uh, it's called Panic, and I love that cover. Um, again, I'm, I'm gonna try it, well, no, I'm not gonna try it because it's too German, and I, I can't speak German. Although, actually, I did, I did do German as a GCSE, uh, when I was, at, which is one of the exams we take um, here in England when uh, we're 16. I did do German, study German for two years. I got a D, uh, but, uh, but no, I can't. Oh, fush. Fußball spiel, I think that means football. Yeah, that's that's about it. No. No. But anyway, here it is, in German, the Fury. Out now. So if you live in Germany, uh and you see this in the bookshop, please take a photo, send it to me via Facebook or email, or even better, a photo of you with the book. It'd be awesome to see uh, a picture of, uh, of one of you guys with a copy of this book. Um, I hope you enjoy it, uh, the German readers amongst you. I am I'm absolutely thrilled uh, to see this. Next up, I'm hugely excited to reveal uh, that Execution, uh, the fifth and final book in the, in the Furnace series in America, is now out in paperback. Well, not quite now, but it will be out in paperback uh, next Tuesday, but I will be away on holiday. Um, so for the sake of argument, we'll say it's out now. Um, and um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really thrilled to see this book in paperback. It is the last one in the series. And it's quite sad for me because, you know, I, it's been a long time that this series has been going on for now. Uh, 2009, the first book came out in America. And, um, and this is the last time I will get a, a furnace book through the, through the mail. Um, so yeah, it feels like the end of an era really. But, you know, obviously the furnace series hopefully will go on for a long, long time. For those of you uh, that are fans on Facebook, you'll know that I did actually briefly mention uh, the possibility of another furnace series. What? I don't want to go into too much detail. And it might never happen, but I'm definitely thinking of, uh, of something along those lines. But It'll be a long way off just yet. Um, so anyway, this uh, execution, the, the great thing about this version of the book is it comes with a, a letter um, that I have written to you guys, uh, a letter from the author, um, which is essentially me saying thanks uh, to all of you for reading the books, for being fans. I never would have been able to write this series without the support I got from you guys. Uh, I would have written the first couple of books probably, but I never would have made it to the end, I don't think, with the support from you guys, with everything you've kind of said, all your letters, all your, all your messages, all your words of support. You know, it was a struggle writing these books. It was, a, you know, they're it's a pretty hardcore story and it was, it was tough at times. And there were times like Alex, you know, I didn't think I was going to get to the end. I didn't think I was going to survive telling this story. Um, so you guys made it possible and, and you know, so thank you to you, uh, thank you so much to you guys, um, and, and I really mean that. So there is a letter in here for all of you uh, from me um, to say thank you, um, and yeah, execution in paperback. And the last books I got through the, the mail this week are these ones. Now I'm so excited uh, about these. Um, basically what these are is, uh, for readers in the UK, my publisher has decided um, to scrap the old covers for the books and rebrand them um, with kind of, they're, they're the American jacket designs, but they're, they've got a, a slightly new twist on them. So, um, so this is Lockdown, the brand new copy of Lockdown, exactly the same book, but a brand new cover um, and Escape from Furnace branding, very cool there. Um, and this is the second one, Solitary. Um, 
again, just uh, just fantastic looking books. They've done wonderful things with the, with the US covers, just giving it, like I say, a slight twist. Um, so these are actually coming out in August. They're, the series are being relaunched again in August. So hopefully it'll pick up a few new readers with these awesome co covers. So yeah, really, really excited about these. Um, we will have the whole series, obviously, at some point um, uh, with uh, Death Sentence, Fugitives, and Execution as well. Uh, but these are the only ones that are ready now. Absolutely awesome. I want to say thanks to everyone at Faber in the UK uh, for rebranding the series, for relaunching it, republishing it. Um, and yeah, it's going to be cool. And if you can't make out these properly, then uh, we will put a big image uh, right here um, or, or here uh, so you can see exactly what they look like. So loads of new books, uh, really exciting. And of course that means there are loads of giveaways coming up. But before we get to them, I just want to announce the winners of last week's competition. So last week I was giving away three copies of The Fury, the UK edition, which is exactly the same now as the US edition. So we've got three copies of this to give away. And I said I'd give them away at random, random guys, there's no favoritism involved, at random, um, to people who commented in the comment section below. So, I have used random.org to pick these winners and I am delighted to announce that the winners are, and I probably should have checked before I picked up that book. So I am delighted to announce that the three winners of The Fury are O Leech Jar, sorry if I said that wrong, Terry Cherry, and The Writing E. Well done guys, congratulations. The best way to get your prizes is to email me at mail at alexandergordonsmith.com. I will put the email address right here. Oh, guys, uh, mail at alexandergordonsmith.com. Send me an email and yeah, I will, uh, I will let you know how to claim your prizes. Congratulations. Oh, and if I take a little while to answer, it's because I'm away on holiday this week. So apologies for that. Okay, and on to the next competition. There is so much to give away this week um, because I've had so much sent to me. So the first thing I'm going to give away is a copy of the German edition of The Fury. Ta -da! I will sign it, of course, um, with my name, which is usually what people sign books with. So yeah, uh, this is the first prize to give away, a copy of the German edition of The Fury. And I've only got the one copy of Execution in paperback so far, so I'm going to give away uh, copies of those in the next edition of Virtually Loads of Gordy, but I do have a whole box full of the UK editions, the brand new UK editions of Furnace and Solitary, so I'm going to be giving away three sets of those books. And I should have pointed out that all you have to do to win these books, as always, is just to leave a comment in the uh, in the comment section below uh, on YouTube, not on Facebook, on YouTube, and I will pick winners at random. If you leave in the comment section a comment, obviously, that'd be nice, and what it is you want to win, that'd be cool. So if you, obviously, if you want to win uh, the books, put books, I don't really need to tell you that, do I? But anyway, let me know what it is you want to win and uh, obviously I will put you in the right draw for the right prize. Last time, a lot of you mentioned the t-shirt that I was wearing. If you can't remember which t-shirt it was, then let me demonstrate via the powers of magic. <laughs> there we go. Um, so this t-shirt, um, well actually it wasn't this one, it was black, but uh, I think that's one's in the wash. Um, and I do have one of these to give away as well. Uh, so if you're interested in winning one of these, they're incredibly exclusive, you can't buy them anywhere, um, then again, just leave a comment, uh, mention the t-shirt, and yeah, I will pick a winner at random. The one that I send out probably won't have my lunch down it. Sorry about that. So before we go, there's time for a couple of quick questions. Um, RJT Misty, you asked, how do you pronounce the character Rilke in the Fury series. I think I've probably just answered that one in the question. The story behind this is that Rilke is named after the poet uh, Rainer Maria Rilke. Um, and when I first heard Rilke's name, I thought it was pronounced Rilke. Um, so for the whole time that I was writing the Fury, Rilke is just Rilke. That's how I, uh, that's how I hear her name in my head. Um, it was only when my girlfriend put it out that it's probably pronounced Rilke. Um, well, she didn't say it quite like that, but Rilke, Rilke, Rilke. So I think that's how it's supposed to be pronounced, Rilke. But for me, it will always be Rilke, um, which is wrong, but you know, it's my character, so I can do what I want. And Kane, you asked, do I think my books are very original? Um, yeah, that's a tricky question. And you know, obviously I'd like to say they're completely original and there's been nothing like it ever before and there will be nothing like it ever again, but that would be a lie. 
You know, all authors are inspired from, from other things. I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs that part of a writer's job, the best part of a writer's job, is that we just spend so much of our time watching films, playing video games, reading books, and all of those ideas from all of those things kind of mix around in our heads and they come out as something completely different. Um, but the kind of that inspiration can still be seen in some of those things. When I was writing Furnace, yes, obviously I was inspired by all of the prison stuff that had come before. You know, I, I read so many prison books, I watched so many prison series, um, everything from The Count of Monte Cristo to uh, Prison Break, um, all sorts of things like that, and all of those ideas fed into my books. So no, they're not completely original, but I'm hoping that I've given the series my own twist. I don't think anyone's ever written the series exactly like Furnace before, at least I hope not, otherwise I'm in serious trouble. Um, but yeah, so I think, you know, all authors do, uh, I don't like to use the word steal because it is an inspiration. Um, but any author who says they've never stolen an idea is lying to you. And you know what? In the future, people will hopefully read Furnace and they will write their own stories that are inspired by Furnace. And I think that's great. I think that's one of the ways that books live on forever. You know, they, they feed through all the generations. People read stuff, they, they create their own stuff. Other people read that stuff, they create their own stuff. It's like this great big chain that goes through human history. Um, it's, it's awesome. And I'm sure there was a question on here about what music I listen to, but I can't for the life of me find it, so I hugely apologise to whoever asked it. Um, but yes, I do often listen to music when I'm writing. I can't listen to anything with lyrics in, because then I just end up writing down the lyrics that I'm listening to, um, which is, you know, which obviously doesn't work when you're writing. But I do listen to a lot of soundtracks. My favourite composer is a guy called Hans Zimmer, who's done the music for films like Gladiator and The Dark Knight and Inception. Um, all these great big kind of thoughtful action films. His music is amazing. Um, even when you put it on, you just feel like something is about to happen. You feel like you're in the middle of an action film or in the middle of a horror film. You feel like something is about to kind of, you know, something big is about to happen, like the world is about to end, or you're about to look out the window and see a monster walking past. This music is awesome. And uh, when you listen to music like this, you cannot help but get really stuck into an action scene. So those of you out there who are writers, if you're ever stuck for inspiration, um, Listening to music is a really good way of, of getting back into it. So try listening to a soundtrack from a film or or whatever you like really. Every kind of music is inspirational. And um, to give it a go, I find like music is a really interesting way to kind of get you know, the gears of your brain working. As always, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. I will answer them next time. Uh, I love answering your questions like this. It's much, much more fun than just kind of writing answers in an email. So do ask those questions and I'll do my best to answer every single one of them next time round. So that's probably all we've got time for today. Uh, sorry, it's a bit of a short vlog this time round, but like I say, I'm on holiday now. So yeah, thanks again so much for all your support, all your nice words, thanks for being fans of the books, thanks for reading them, uh, and thanks for being just the nicest people in the world. I do have the most awesome fans ever. I will be back in probably a couple of weeks with a Fury-focused vlog. I'll be giving away more copies of the Fury and maybe a couple of exclusive prizes. Um, I will be showing some Fury trailers and probably reading a bit of the book. Actually, I haven't done that before, so I might give that a go. Remember, if you're interested in winning any of the prizes, all you have to do is leave a comment below um, with, um, yeah, with whichever prize you'd like to win. And yeah, I will pick the winners at random uh, in a couple of weeks or so. Thank you very much, and yeah, I will see you guys soon. In a uh, leave data, is it? Um, hmm. So before I get to the news, no, uh, we're doing the news now. So I'm delighted to uh, pronounce your T's, Gordon. Pronounce your T's. Mmm, porridge. Wait a minute. These are blueberry wheats. What am I doing? What am I doing? I've forgotten. I've lost my train of thought. Ah, oh, I burped.